Okay. All right, a health alert this morning. Rice University held a small study that reveals something huge for asthma and COPD patients. Yeah, so it found that there are many interpretations to the instructions. Yeah. Take a deep breath and hold. Haley Hernandez, our health reporter, is here with what they did wrong. Exactly, guys. So this was a small study, just 23 people, part of the study at Rice, but they discovered that every single one of them is using their inhaler wrong, which they say means you probably are too. Then start breathing and press. There's an estimated 17 million Americans struggling with asthma. Baylor College of Medicine Dr. Nick Hanania says he's eager to help them better use their inhaler. The whole maneuver is very short. It's very, it's very hard, hard to, actually to actually quantify by looking, by looking in the eye what the patient is doing. That's why Rice University PhD student Rajashi Biswas made this mechanical mouth, throat, and lungs to better address the problem. It can completely mimic how patients actually. What she and her professor found is that the timing, pressing the inhaler versus when and how long patients breathe, got anywhere from just six to 50% of medication in the airways. They are all adults. They apparently have been using inhalers for a while. But they all, they all at least made, made one mistake. The biggest mistake is the timing when patients press. And if you are even half, half a second, second early, early in pressing, in pressing the, inhaler the inhaler from when you start, start breathing, breathing, you lose half the medicine. medicine. They want to be able to breathe in first and then press the inhaler. This is why they recommend patients take their inhaler with them every time they see a doctor. Start breathing in and then puff and then complete the deep breath in and hold it. It's so once again, the correct way to use the inhaler, start breathing, press the medication, keep breathing in, and hold it for a few okay. seconds. So it's in the middle of that right. deep breath. Now you had said press. before some people are only getting as much as 6%. If you do it the right way, does that give you 100%? You never actually get 100%. You expect to lose some of the medication in your mouth, sure. in the throat. It's definitely going to stick. And remember, your lungs don't want anything to come in it. Right. So you're, you know, your best bet to do everything correct you're hoping to get at least half of the medication mm -hmm. into your airways. Okay. This is also a good reminder that, you know, since it is sticking in your mouth and in your throat, it's a good reminder to rinse your mouth afterwards because that medication can cause infections if it's oh, just left I've never out. thought of that. Yeah. That is part of the directions, but it's not one that we normally focus on. So, yeah. mm -hmm. good Maybe reminder. Maybe to talk more with the pharmacist. Exactly, yeah. Maybe I mean, I know it's been a hot topic for us this sure. morning. When you're prescribed these things, you don't, you aren't necessarily there with the doctor for them to show you how sure. to use it so just you know use remember your to talk to your pharmacist the pharmacy. exactly time to relearn for a lot yeah, of people yeah, learn it all over yeah, it, yeah you can veer from the right technique at any point absolutely good this, advice uh, really Thank important. You so much, thanks guys yeah. thanks to rice university i know yeah, great work. I love Go a local rice. study all right 620 britta take it away well we got a lot of heat out there so today's the 22nd day of temperatures getting up to 80 degrees in the middle of winter unbelievable <laughs> stuff we are